Okay, guys, this is the desk, and I'm going to put it over here, right, in this space, kind of. I didn't think it was that long, but, uh, you know, I needed one of those desks that powers up, like it slides up, but, um, yeah. guys my little desk is so cute oh okay i just got this brilliant idea okay i want to go on vacation for my birthday okay i've already priced out the vacation the vacation is going to cost about eight thousand dollars but where i'm going to get that eight thousand dollars from i have no clue but I want to put myself on a challenge for the next, what? The next month and a half. I th it's like two months until my birthday. Like, that would be so interesting if I could, like, save $8,000, like, by, like, cutting back on certain things. Like, cutting back on certain things for the next two months. Let's see if I can save. Because that's only, like, $4,000 a month when you think about it. So I'm wondering to myself. If I like just stick to all of my bills, don't do nothing extra. Well, not including tonight because I did get wing stop, but not doing anything extra. And the top of my mouth is so burnt up. So cool. Like if I just decide to not eat out, stick to a meal plan, pay just the, all of my bills, um, don't do nothing extra. Like I wonder if I can save the $8,000. What y'all think? I don't know. But I'm about to take a shower. My wing stop is on its way. Good morning. Guys, happy Saturday. Today is September 2nd, the beginning of the month. I love the beginning of the month because it makes you feel like you have a whole 30 days to do everything all over again. So I'm going to take you guys with me i have a few things that i got going on this weekend so first things first is i gotta do a bit of a maintenance i have a lot of content coming up but not only that i'm a girl i'm just a girl so i definitely need to make sure that i have things done so um lately i haven't been getting my nails done because i don't know if i told you guys but my nail girl is on maternity leave and I just do not have the extra funds to be finding out how somebody else do nails. This is not the season to fuck around and find out. This is not the season to be fucking around and finding out, okay? So what I've been doing is I've been, I found these really, really cute press-on nails from, um, I, I showed it to you guys in, in the um, Baddie on a Budget video. These... Y'all, when I tell you these eat down bad, you got to like file them up and fit them to your nails, but they eat down real, real bad. Okay, so first things first today, I'm going to get myself ready, probably go ahead, get, drink me some kombucha, um, drink me some kombucha, get me some breakfast. Um, I am probably going to do 
Should I want to do? I probably want to do a bit of skincare today, but um, I'm gonna get ready because the first thing, the first place I have to go is I have to go to. Um, the first place I have to go is I have to go to get a wax. That is. That's first on the list. My wax appointment is at 12.15. I think it's about 10 o'clock right now. So I got a little time, but not too much. Right after, I am going to get my pedicure, get my feet done. Um, I've been getting gel pedicure, and it's literally lasts me anywhere between four to six weeks. Love that for me. Great way to save money. Um, after that, I need to head over to like the nearest, maybe like Marshalls or something. I have to get me like two candles. You know, you guys know I love candles. Give me some candles. And then after that, I'm going to figure out my hair. Now, I was thinking about getting a bob. My sister does hair. I was thinking about my sister doing a bob in my head. But I don't know. For some reason, I've been really into the ponytail lately. It's fast. It's easy. And it gives my hair a break. Like it really does. My leave out... After having so many sew-ins, my leave out was fried. And I know for the winter, this fall and winter, I'm going to want to have like leave out sew-ins. So I said all that to say, no, baby, we got to give the leave out a break. And then next month, I'm getting it braided for my birthday. No. So I'm really leaning more towards the ponytail. So I'm thinking I'm going to get like some straight hair and some curly hair just so I can like go between the two. Um, What else, y'all? Yeah, that's about it. So I'm about to get some breakfast and yeah i ain't gonna lie y'all i really do want to see beyonce but and i and, and and i've seen beyonce in concert like five different times so i'm a beyonce fan for real for real and can i just tell you like i don't know what it is about this year baby the money is tight and like not even so much like you don't have it but it's just like, you don't know what the hell is going to come up. And you don't want to spend your emergency money on the on the Beyonce ticket. And then not even that. Okay, so you don't want to spend your emergency money on the Beyonce tickets. And then, but then again, you don't want to spend your savings. And you damn, and you, and you damn near don't want to spend your check-ins. Hey guys, so I am nice and clean and ready. I'm taking a shower. I've eaten breakfast, taking a shower, done everything. So now I am about to call my Uber. Let me see if which one is cheaper, Uber or Lyft, y'all. It is Memorial Day. Well, Labor Day weekend. Stop saying Memorial Day. Um, it is Labor Day weekend. So, I don't know. These people may try to be funny. Let's see. So, Lyft is $13.69. Uber is $14.99. That's only like a dollar and 30 cent difference. I don't know. For some reason, Uber cars be a lot better than Lyft cars. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to discriminate, but I ain't gonna lie, their cars do be kinda, maybe a little better. Okay guys, I'm in the car. I'm so appreciative of my mom letting me hold her car. Um, I need to get me a car thingy, like, you know? I'm so appreciative that she let me hold her car on the weekends. It's clean in here too. I ain't seen my mama car clean in a minute. Don't tell her I said it. But we about to get ready to go. I got a GPS this place. We got to get ready to go because it's 11.45 and I got to be there at 12.15. And when I tell y'all I need this wax really, really bad. Like, really bad. Let me check the bank accounts. We're ready for the day. Financially. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like, I low dead ass want to go to see Beyonce. But when I think about how I just paid rent yesterday, lights, cell phone, everything, it makes me not want to. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it.
Jail. I'm gonna tell y'all something right now. I check one, two, one, two. I'm feeling so good. We got our wax. What else? My mouth is dry. We got our wax. Got our pedicure and um hair now i'm at the hair store about to get hair do i want to go straight ponytail or a curly ponytail hey guys <laughs> i bit my lip yesterday so don't mind I know you guys are like, Chanel, what happened to you yesterday? Um, yesterday went pretty good. Like it was going as planned. I had the dopest conversation with my wax lady. All right. Y'all, when I tell you the lady was talking good, like speaking good over me yesterday was clutch i was in her shop for like an hour and a half i ain't never been there i never been there that long but y'all anyways let me tell y'all i took and i'm glad i ain't take the whole thing i took I, uh, like a fourth, I ain't gonna even say a half. I took like a fourth of an edible before I got started with the wax. <laughs> Y'all, I am very much a lightweight and normally I only have an edible before bed because I have problems going to sleep. So that is really what I use it for to relax my mind. So I can have a good night's sleep. Why would I take that like one o'clock in the afternoon? Why? When I have to go places and y'all. So needless to say, I got almost everything I wanted to get done. But y'all, I was so zooted. I came here and crashed and let me tell you i got here yesterday at about 5 30 6 o'clock y'all i slept throughout the entire night and i just woke up this morning about 7 45 so i've been sleeping almost 12 13 hours <laughs> i wanted to get a candle i didn't that's okay it's no no big deal um, I'm going to see if it's a way, these candles that I really like, if it's a way I could buy them online. They, Amazon got them, but Amazon got them like four times the price that Marshalls has them. It's ridiculous. These candles are literally like, I'll say like $9.99 in the store. On Amazon, they're like $34.99. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. So I'm going to go get a candle tomorrow. You know, I'm off of work tomorrow. And, um... I'm off for of work tomorrow and probably I'll get it then. But yeah, so what I'm about to do today, today is Sunday. Today is my mom's birthday dinner. So we're going to get ready for that. And I'm going I'm to try to take you guys with me. Um, I'm going to try to take you guys with me. And then, um, yeah. Um, someone in my last vlog told me that wooden hangers i'm gonna just flip it around this is my closet somebody told me that wooden hangers would give me more room well this is the thing i don't think room is a is an issue it's just that i have so many clothes that i notice that i have to keep buying hangers so um i think i have enough room now i think i have enough room um New shower curtain, okay. Look at these. Oh, these are a lot of shirt hangers. Okay. 
All right. I'm sorry, but when did it start costing a million dollars? I love watching these broke and tired um, compilations from TikTok. Not because it's funny, because it's relatable. And I'm not gonna lie, for some reason, I thought I was the only one on this planet Earth going through it. So it feels good not to know that I'm not the only person. Leave. I don't get sick leave, take placement, and I still have another month off because I don't have a contract lined up. You know I'm special? Jesus Christ, Coles. So I'm sitting outside of me for foods that I like. I can't buy fruit. Hey y'all, this is my little makeup and hair look, yeah, y'all, I look so cute, I look so cute, y'all, this is my ponytail, I'm about to film a sit down video, I needed to get work done, today is Sunday, I needed to get work done because I know I was going to my mother's birthday party, I knew I was going to my mom's birthday party, and I'm upset because the place where I thought I was going to be able to get flowers, I can't get no flowers. <laughs> so I'm upset about that, but that just means I'm going to have to see if they can maybe deliver tomorrow, maybe deliver the flowers tomorrow, and maybe I pay for them today. I don't know. I'm looking at myself in the mirror, y'all, too. So, but yeah, so I just wanted to say, um, hey, guys. So yeah, I'm about to do a sit down video. I'm gonna come back when I am fully dressed. I don't have to leave until, I don't have to be to my mom's house with everybody until like 5.45. So I got two, literally two hours. I got about two hours. So I wanna spend the next hour filming and editing because this video that I'm about to shoot needs to go up like today right now. So I don't have no problem. Um, like I'm not, I'm good on time. That's why I'm like done up so early. But I kind of got an idea of what I'm going to wear. I'm even thinking about wearing this dress right here that I got from Pretty Little Thing with these shoes and like a bag. Or I'm considering wearing this dress that I got for, from Amazon. I've been trying to wear this dress for so long and nothing has worked. So I'm hoping today I get bold and I want to wear it because where we're going is kind of like a beach kind of thing. So yeah, I'm thinking about wearing this dress and I have to find out what bag, but I definitely want to do these shoes for sure. So this dress, these shoes for sure. Y'all. I completely forgot to take the camera with me to dinner. We done had dinner. The place is nice. It was a vibe. I would have loved to take you guys there. I was having so much fun. Let me show you what I have on. A little dress from Amazon. I will have it linked down below. Y'all, can I just tell you? The vibes were high. I'm gonna rant real quick. I have so many emotions right now. Not even funny. Guys, when I tell you, it is hard as hell living on my own, on your own in general. Because I don't think I'm just speaking for myself. I really think I'm speaking for everybody. When I say that it is hard as hell to live on your own. Everything is so expensive, like, it's crazy. Like, it's insane. It's insane. I will tell you this. I've been wanting to live on my own since like I was out of high school, like when I knew I was going to college. And can I just tell you, it is like the hardest thing to do because it's just like you wanna be independent, but in the economy that we're living in, it's just so insane. Like everything costs, 
like cost, cost. Everything costs. But I thank God that I work and I have, and I make really, really good money. I feel like I make good money as a content creator. But when I tell you I got to be on my Zoom, y'all, because, no, I got to, I got to be on my Zoom. You yeah. know. So this is where I end this vlog. Um, I had a great weekend. Hope you guys had an amazing long three day weekend. Tomorrow we are having a barbecue at my mom's house. <laughs> We're having a barbecue at my mom's house. And I just, I'm excited, I'm happy. And um, yeah, life is good. Um, this ends this vlog, guys. If you watch all the way to the end, you a real one. Because <laughs> I don't know how this vlog going to come out. So I appreciate it. You are definitely a real one. Um, thank you guys so much for the support. Hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.